Hey, I don't know about you, but I got stacks of these old videotapes that I'm going to transfer to my computer. I'm going to show you how you can transfer your old family history videos to your computer so that you can share them with your family. Hey, before we get started, I just want to let you know that uh, there is a handout for this. We'll talk more about that at the end of the show. All right, I'm going to show you how you can take some of your old VHS tapes, or, I mean, this could be some of those 8 millimeter videos. Uh, there's a whole bunch of old formats out there from, from the old video days. And how to transfer uh, those videotapes from your uh, tape. we got to got to have a player, right, that works and how we're going to get it into the computer and we're going to do that right now. So uh, one of the things you need to have is a set of cables, right, that plugs into the back of your deck, which we've got. But uh, one of the things that you will need is, um, in this case, it's called a video capture. It's made by Elgato. And this one has the, the three uh, RCA cables and a Super V cable uh, that you can use. Now, this comes from the back of the deck. So from the back of the deck into the cables, into the video capture. And on the other end of this is a USB that goes into your computer. From there, the software takes over. I'm going to show you how the software works here in just a moment. Um, but uh, let's, let's get this hooked up. Okay, so I've turned the uh, deck around so you could see it a little bit better. We've got, we've got video and audio. The, so the yellow is video, the red and uh, white are audio. And we have an outside and an in. We want the out. We're coming out of the deck and we're going to go into the computer. So I'm going to take my cables and I'm going to plug them in. Red to the right side, white to the left side. So we've got video and audio coming out. On the other end of those cables, we've got the same corresponding. I'm going to take the Elgato uh, capture uh, card and we're going to plug in uh, the white to the white. We're going to plug in the red to the red and we're going to plug in the yellow to the yellow, which this part's the video and of course these are the audio. We don't need the Super V in this case because, uh, first of all, we don't have an output for that on this cable, but uh, that's what that looks like if you need it. And so then the other end of this is going to get plugged into the computer. Okay, so all we have to do now is power on our uh, tape deck, and we're going to take this tape. This is a, a program I did uh, back when I worked at a public broadcasting station many years ago. This was a program that uh, I worked on. It was a magazine show on the public broadcasting station. And so now we're ready to go. I'm going to rewind the tape. And once that finishes rewinding, I'll be ready to go. Be careful not to uh, shuttle back and forth too often because these tapes are fragile and they could break, okay? One thing I wanted to point out, we don't need to have any cables hooking up to a television uh, or some sort of monitor because we're going to be able to watch it right on the computer. So we're going to jump over here now and we're going to download the software and I'm going to show you how it works because we're all hooked up. All we needed was those cables coming out, going into the USB port, and then once we have the Elgato software loaded, and by the way, that's free, uh, once we get that, uh, downloaded, we're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get this video transferred over to your computer. You need to go over to the Elgato website if you're using the Elgato capture uh, link, the capture cable. Uh, you need to go over to Elgato and download the software. And to do that, you just come over here and you select video capture. And then for me, it's Windows. You can also choose Mac if you want, but for me, it's Windows. And then we want to download 
uh, that with this little down arrow. Once it's finished downloading, you can over here in the corner is where it's downloaded here, or you can go check it uh, for it in your download file on your file explorer. So we're going to open this up and we're going to walk through the wizard. Now we don't need this anymore, so I'm going to just minimize that out of the way. So you're going to walk through the uh, wizard. You're just going to hit finished when you're done. Once you go through the uh, setup wizard, then you're going to have probably either a desktop shortcut here, or you could probably type Elgato. There's the app. So once it comes up, then you've got this. It says, please connect your Elgato video capture hardware to a USB 2.0 port. I plugged it into a 3.0 port and it immediately came up. And so here is the first opportunity to start a recording. This is a program that I did when I was in my 20s. I worked on a program called Inside Orange County. It says, I'm gonna, how long do I want to approximately record for? 60 minutes, that's fine. Now, one of the things you want to do too is to choose your preferences. So we don't really know where this recording is gonna go. So what we want to do is we want to hit preferences. And on the preferences box, uh, we can do a couple of things. So what you can do is you can save your movies in specific pre-populated folders, or in my case, I'm gonna say other, and I'm gonna choose where I want this file to go. And in my case, I'm gonna throw it into my little genealogy archives folder. I'm gonna close that out. High resolution is typically what I need. If you have a fast PC, you can leave that checked. Preserve the source format will make it either the probably the four by five aspect ratio or the 16 by nine. So we can click that. Automatically check for updates. That drives me crazy. I'll check for updates as I need it. Come over to the video. If your video is unusually uh, low light, uh, you can hit the gain uh, just by sliding the sliders or contrast, saturation, hue, you can fix that. If your audio level is low, you can boost it here. So zero dB is normally where it would it would be. So if you go to the left, your audio is gonna go lower. If you go to the right, it's gonna go higher, okay? And so now we wanna continue. Oh, it's already playing. So what we wanna do is I wanna rewind this tape. So I'm gonna stop this. Now I have to control this from the tape deck. So I've stopped it. I'm gonna rewind this tape. And the reality is I probably recorded this prior to the show. I'm gonna fast forward. I'm not actually recording yet, so I'm gonna fast forward to where I want it to be. Now I can choose four by three or 16 by nine. Since this is a very old videotape, I want to record in uh, four by three. Uh, now this is the show, as I recall it. Let me get back to the beginning. Okay, that was the beginning of the show. I'm gonna hit continue, and we're gonna check the audio by hitting play. So there's play. So you can see the green here is lighting up because it has audio on it. We're gonna hit continue. And as soon as this goes to black, I'm gonna hit start. And now I am recording. See, it says stop recording, so we know we're recording now, okay? Okay, I'm going to stop for the sake of time, and now I can play right from here what I had recorded. So I want to show you how to trim something, and uh, so I went back and I re-recorded this because before, when I recorded it the first time, I actually had queued up the tape right exactly where I wanted it. But if I play this now, Son of the King of the Gods. I had um, recorded a bunch of, uh, of the pre-roll, right? A bunch of the video before the program started. And really all I want to preserve is the beginning of the show uh, that I worked on. I didn't work on any of this. I don't really care about all of this. So I had recorded all of this extra by accident because the videotape started that early and I don't need all that. I want to pick it up from where it goes to black and it starts with KOCE, right? So what I can do is I can play, stop. Okay, so now it's in black. I know that the show is going to start at this point right here at 127 into the tape. If I grab this little triangular handle 
and I scroll forward, I can do the same thing. I can come right up to where I want it to start. Whoops, right in the black. I just kind of have to scooch back and forth until I find it. And I'm going to say right there. Okay. Now, on the other end, I can grab this upper handle and I can forward all the way to the end. Look, isn't this cute? I want to show you something. That's me. Anyway, point being is we can go to the end of the open of this show, or in your case, maybe it's the end of your show. Look, I'm drawing on the screen as well. Here we go. All right, and so right when it fades to the actual program, I'm going to stop it. So I'm going to grab this little triangle. This is the end triangle, and I'm going to push it back. I'm going to scooch back and forth till I find just exactly where I want it. So this, this is what's going to be preserved. So we recorded into the software the whole thing, but what's going to get saved to the file is from the start or in point to the out point. Okay. And so now all we have to do is click continue. And it writes to the file that we had preserved. And remember, I told you it was right here. And so uh, because I re-recorded it, it put a one on the end of it. And from here, you could do a variety of things. You could just play it straight from a, a video player if you want. You could uh, edit it with Live Movie Maker. I honestly have never used it. have no clue if it's even on my computer, but it must be because it's there. And then uh, we have YouTube. And we could, we could upload it to YouTube. In my case, I'm done. It's there. It's an MP4 file. And so I am finished and I am going to say quit. <laughs> look, look at how young I was then. Oh my God, I would die to be that skinny again. Okay. So uh, as promised, there are three ways to get the handouts. Uh, if you are joined, you can click the join button if you're not already joined. If you're joined at the information access level on the YouTube channel, uh, you can find the handouts in the community tab. The second way is if you're a patron. Now that's at patreon.com forward slash genealogy TV. There, uh, the, if you are uh, a patron, the, that's a monthly subscription as well. The handouts get emailed directly to you, which is really convenient. Uh, and then the third way is at genealogytv.org on the website. You can click on the handouts tab and you can find the handouts there. Those are for individual purchase. So uh, that's the three ways you can get the handouts. It's got all the step-by-step -step instructions. It's got links to the Elgato software, the exact software you need to download. And it's also got links to the, uh, to the product, the, the cable that you need to transfer that. So I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, I had a blast putting this together. I know that the, the, there's another episode I did on the audio version. So if you want to transfer audio cassettes, if you've not seen that one and you would like to see how to do that, I will leave a link on the video on the screen for you now and you can uh, catch it there.